Omar approaches music through an improvisational aesthetic, but the rhythmic foundation that he uses has to do with the African diaspora. What's interesting about Omar's approach of what would be the Afro-Cuban slant on Miles Davis's uh, famous recording, Kind of Blue, is that unlike a lot of musicians who've done an Afro-Cuban side of this or that or, or an African uh, approach to John Coltrane or something, is that normally with those kinds of concepts, the musicians use the material the way it was originally intended in that there's sparse compositional information that's used as a springboard for improvisation. And they might just change the rhythm and maybe change the meter or the form or the tempo. What Omar's done, which is so interesting and unusual to me, he got so deeply into the album that he actually transcribed the solos of John Coltrane, Cannonball Adderley, Bill Levins, and Miles, of course, and he created compositions out of them by harmonizing elements of their solos, which I'm sure if they were alive today and they heard, they probably wouldn't recognize at all, uh, because he completely redesigned them. He used the improvised solos as a springboard for a very deep and elaborate composition. It's classic Omar in that uh, some of it ends up being very simple themes that are stretched out and superimposed over an Afro-Cuban groove or over an original groove that isn't necessarily traditional. It might be a made-up groove. He's uh, just one of the kind, uh, somebody with uh, his own voice. I love his work, great spirit, you know, the, the whole band, they, all, they, they, everybody in the band, just uh, so lovely to play, to work with him. Omar is a great piano player, he's a great writer too, you know, and I think that's very important. Some people can be great writer and they're not great player or, or vice, vice versa, you know. And he definitely got both of them, and it's, it's lovely, it's great to play with him. You know. So far, I need to say, we, we are really happy with having Mark Gilmore on drum and electronic. Childa Tomas on electric bass and kalimba. Joe Crow on trumpet and electronic. Leandro on Hill on alto sax and flute and clarinet. And a Peter Afrogan on tenor saxophone, soprano saxophone and bass saxophone. And actually percussion he play, he plays some percussion. Some percussion. Yeah, and Lionel Lueque on electroacoustic guitar. Different roots, but in music we all sing in the same way. We all have the same duration. This is why it was so easy to record this record. Just enjoy and have a fun and good time. <laughs>